Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects webinar snippet. These snippets include excerpts of webinars that are accessible by going to our website at www.performancearchitects.com and registering for our Learning Center, a community and forum for on-demand business education in the business intelligence and enterprise performance management arenas and related topics. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Thanks, Tom. So for today's objective, we'd like you to come away with a basic understanding of SmartView, what it is, where to get it, and how to use it. We will look at a couple of SmartView's features. We'll show you how to create some ad hoc reports and talk about how you can further customize those reports to meet your needs. Additionally, you will discover how to use some basic Excel drill-throughs to learn more about your data. Finally, you will learn how to take these retrievals and leverage them in both Word and PowerPoint. Tom? So now let's go ahead and take a look at our case study company. In this case, a hypothetical beverage company, the Boston Beverage Company. Now the Boston Beverage Company was established in 1922 in Boston's historical Back Bay neighborhood. They are a purveyor of fine authentic sodas with a variety of different products. They are famous, of course, because of the unique taste that the soda garners from the Boston Harbor water, though sales were slow during the 80s. They are also users of both Oracle S-Base and Hyperion planning. They use S-Base for their canned and ad hoc reporting, and finally they use planning for their budget and forecast. Now they have 50 plus financial analysts and users, both reporting and planning data in the Northeast, and finally they have one senior financial analyst who both manages the system as well as leverages some of the power functionality of the tool. Now I'm going to pass it back over to Robert. So let's get started with SmartView and talk about some of the basics. SmartView is an Oracle Hyperion add-in for your Microsoft Office Suite, Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. This tool allows you to pull data from the underlying S-based database and use it, customize it, manipulate it in a familiar environment of Microsoft Office. It allows you to visualize and analyze your data while always maintaining your existing security in S-Base. Furthermore, SmartView allows you to work with pre-existing web forms, say from planning, in Excel. You can view, enter, edit, and send data back into the cubes. You can even run business rules. Of course, you can hide cells that you don't need to use or see. You can also add formulas with a couple of caveats we'll talk about. And while you cannot add additional rows or columns of data, as they will be lost when the data is transmitted back into the cubes, you're welcome to use them in your ad hoc analysis. SmartView also has an ad hoc mode, which you can use to create pivoted free form reports based on Excel. This tool is a powerful way to create custom reports. Some of you, I'm sure, are wondering where it fits in the Oracle EPM stack. So it's right here in the middle, ad hoc analysis and office integration. Tom? Thanks again, Robert. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the SmartView ad hoc reporting mode. To start, SmartView ad hoc reporting allows you to discover data by creating retrievals in Excel. It is a quick way to analyze data, but before we get into a retrieval, let's take a look at what you need to get connected. So you really just need three things to get started in SmartView. First and foremost, you need SmartView installed on your machine. Second, you need your login credentials. And finally, you need the provider services URL. These three pieces allow you to connect to your SmartView data source and begin retrieving data. So if you do this, you're connected. And once you're connected, you can start retrieving data from S-Base. But how in the world do we create an ad hoc retrieval to start reporting on our data? Well, to start, let's take a look at our business case so 
but we can wrap our heads around the tool. And what better place to get our example from than our favorite company, the Boston Beverage Company. Let's take a look at our scenario. Bill, our senior financial analyst, wants to compare the monthly cost of goods and revenue for Q1 across each of his products. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any pre-existing reports to view the data. Now, he could go into a tool like the Oracle General Ledger and pull each column down, or he could call up a few reps to get their numbers. But Bill knows that the most efficient and accurate way to discover this data is by using the ad hoc capabilities of SmartView in Excel. Let's take a look at how he does this. 